It's, it's more of the problem with, I think removing Defender in Windows Update can be very problematic long term. So I, I you know, I've, I've hate, I hate Defender. Like, I'm just gonna be honest with everybody. I really hate Defender. I prefer it not to be there for me personally, but I've run without Defender for a month or two and I have run into more problems than it's worth. The performance gains worth. I, I just being real like I've 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 completely just been like listen I've removed Defender I've run Windows inevitably it really does not like not having Defender and I think the same could be said for Edge Edge is getting very very baked into Windows and when you start removing these core system tools because as much as I'd like to tell you that this is just a tacked on antivirus this is just a tacked on web browser the more I use Windows, the more I realize these are not tacked on. They're an integral part of the system and Microsoft is baking them into other pieces of the operating system. They are not meant to ever be removed. And when you remove them, there's unintended consequences for doing such. It's really important to notate that because I hate Edge, I hate Defender, but the more I use them, the more it's baked into Windows, I understand that removing them causes more problems than it solves for me. So to me, going forward, I probably will remove the edge from my toolbox because one, I'm tired of people texting me and be like, hey, I removed edge and now I can't get it back. I'm like, yeah, you're not going to get it back because <laughs> it, it has to modify the core functionality, which is kind of funny because back in the late 90s, Microsoft got sued for just implementing Internet Explorer and deploying Windows with Internet Explorer. They got hit with a whole bunch of monopoly lawsuits. This is far more egregious than bundling Internet Explorer was in the late 90s. This is way worse. The problem is our lawmakers are all 70 year old white guys that don't understand technology and they don't even they can't even differentiate Google from Apple. <laughs> you know, so you got a bunch of clowns up there and, and you know, these tech companies just rule everything and, and Microsoft can get away with it. Uh, but anyways, I, I do want to remove them. It's just, yeah, more problems than it solves. Just sucks. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, the EU should continually fining Microsoft because it's getting worse, not better. Like whatever you're throwing them a fine, it might be like a hundred billion or dollars. You know, it's, it's not enough. It needs to go further because they're just continually this assault on, Hey, you, you're gonna use our browser. You're gonna use Windows Defender. And if you're using Windows, you will. You will, you have to. Otherwise you don't get updates. You don't get proper security. And and that's just how it is. <laughs> Why doesn't FTC do something about Windows 11? Money and power, my friend, money and power. Microsoft has a lot of it, of both. They work very close with the government. Uh, but anywho, uh, yeah, don't wanna get in. The semantics. I'm at after all just an IT guy. <laughs>